Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, we're going to answer the question, can you swap a PlayStation 4 hard drive from one PlayStation to another PlayStation without losing any data or profiles? So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So I have two PlayStation 4s at my house right now, and I'm going to go ahead and take out the hard drive from this black PlayStation and put it into the blue PlayStation and see if I lose any data when I transfer them. So this should answer the question, if I want to take my PlayStation 4 hard drive to one of my friend's house and go ahead and play my games, my profile at his house, can I just take the hard drive and send my entire PlayStation 4 over to his house? So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is turn off my PlayStation 4. So first off, I'm going to have to turn it on because it's in rest mode right now. And then I'm going to completely shut it off. All right, so I'm going to hold down the power button on the PlayStation 4 and bring up the quick menu. And then scroll down to power and then go to turn off instead of enter rest mode. So my PlayStation 4 is turning off now. And now that my PlayStation 4 has turned off, I'm going to go ahead and flip it up on the side and take the power cord and just completely unplug it from the wall here. So the power cord is unplugged. Now let's go ahead and swap the hard drives. Okay, so taking out a hard drive on the PlayStation 4 is very, very easy. You take the faceplate and you pretty much just move it over to the left and then you will have to pull up and the face cover will come out. And then you'll have one screw right here and you'll have to unscrew to the left so let's do that now. And this will be very easy to unscrew. Let's go ahead and just put this to the side. And then there's a nice little handle here. You can just go ahead and pull out the hard drive with. And here's my hard drive. This is a 1.5 terabyte hard drive made by Samsung. If I had the regular hard drive, I would only be able to install about two games on the PlayStation 4 in the current state of gaming right now. So let's do it to my blue console. Same thing. Lift up, and there's my face cover. And then let's go ahead and uh, screw this to the left and pull out the hard drive. And this will be a very similar hard drive. I went ahead and bought just off Amazon. This is another 1.5 terabyte hard drive. It's labeled HGST. So let's go ahead and put the Samsung hard drive into my blue PlayStation 4. And put it in here just like this and it'll slide in. Let's go ahead and put the screw back in. And one thing I want to show you about these screws, these screws are actually really cool. I don't know if you can see it from here. Let's go ahead and focus it. Up. These screws actually have the PlayStation symbols on it. So the square, triangle, circle and cross so that's kind of cool so let's go ahead and put my face cover back on start with the back move to the front and then push to the right so my face cover is now let's go ahead and put the power cable back in the back of the console and i almost got it there it is it's plugged in in the moment of truth, let's go ahead and press the power button and then switch over to my monitor. All right, so my PlayStation 4 is pretty much restarting right now. It's got a light blue light on and I'm presented with this screen. Cannot start the PlayStation 4, connect the PS4 controller using the USB cable, then press the PlayStation button. So let's go ahead and do that. Connect a USB storage device that contains an update file for reinstallation version 7.02 or later. You can download the update for the file installation from PlayStation.com. Okay, let's go ahead and press OK. It looks like I am in safe mode right now. The USB storage device is not connected. All right, so my PlayStation 4 is once again restarting and it looks like solid blue lights are on. It's kind of flashing. All right, and I'm brought back to this screen once again. You cannot start the PlayStation 4. All right, so my PlayStation 4 completely turned off. As you can see, there's no light bar on it. What if I were to start this into safe mode completely just by holding down the power button for 10 seconds 
maybe there will be a menu option on the screen like it would normally when I launch in safe mode. So there's the second beep. Let's go over to my screen right now and see if I can get it to launch into safe mode and just see if there's any other options besides just saying you cannot start the PlayStation 4. Alright, so connect the DualShock 4, press the PlayStation button, and I do have a safe mode menu from here. I mean, what I could do is initialize the PlayStation 4 with the hard drive, but that would wipe out everything on the hard drive. You know, I can update system software, change resolution, rebuild database. So I don't want to wipe out the data. Let's try rebuild database, see if that does anything. Okay. I got an error. SU413367. All right, it says I have to turn off my PlayStation 4. So it seems like right now I can't just take a hard drive from one PlayStation 4 and bring it to another and expect it to just work and have all my data on there. Okay, so we didn't really get the results I wanted. Let's go ahead and put my original hard drive back in my PlayStation 4 and just see if there's any problems starting it back up again once I go ahead and put my original hard drive in. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the Samsung hard drive and put it back into the other PlayStation 4 and then take the HGST hard drive and put it back into my blue PlayStation. Alright, so that's it. Let's go ahead and put the screw back in and put the cover back on. Alright, so my cover is back on, my hard drive's in. Let's go ahead and press the start button and turn on my console. So I see the PlayStation logo, so that's a good sign. And my PlayStation 4 has restarted like normal. So there's no issue taking your hard drive out and then just simply putting it back in. If you do try to take a PlayStation 4 hard drive to another PlayStation 4, it's not going to bring over your data like you're expecting, and you won't be able to start your PlayStation without reinstalling the latest PlayStation 4 software. So if this video did indeed help you out or answer your questions, go ahead and leave a thumbs up on my video and subscribe down below for more PlayStation 4 tech help tips coming up next on Your Six Studios.